Now turning to the very latest on the tragedy in Ton. This morning, the fire department released 911 recordings made as a rampage was unfolding last week. Eyewitness News reporter Julian Pixoto listened to those 911 calls. She's live in studio now with the details. Well, the emergency calls truly show just how chaotic that evening was, with both state and Taunton emergency services lines ringing constantly. The recordings also show us just how hard first responders worked to figure out exactly what was going on and how witnesses worked together to help the many victims. 911, where is your emergency? It started with what witnesses described as a serious car crash. Blair Terrace and Myrick Street, a bad accident. But then police learned of a more serious incident at a home near the crash. Did you guys get a, excuse me, an MVA also? An MVA? We got 270. 270 for a stat, for a double stabbing. Called in by one of the stabbing victims herself. Then, the guy just bolted. And the calls just kept coming. Hey, let me put you on hold, all right? I got a 911 call. Hi. I'm calling for Macy's right now. Someone has just slammed through on North Edge's door. Black man running to the store. Got a hold of clients. Got a hold of associate, and we're dragging them across the floor. Three people assaulted inside the Macy's when police received another call from the mall. Hi. He inside the nail salon. We locked the door, but he was just running in and out recklessly. He went into the tutus and was just throwing stuff. The customer saw that he had a knife on him. People desperately seeking shelter, but making sure to reach out for help. Colleen, I just called from Macy's. Yes. Yeah. He just came into our store. He shot someone in Bacucci. And he, they're running over to Bacucci's right now. We're going to need um, more ambulance with them all. We got a guy on scene. They got at least two stabbed and one shot. The recordings released by authorities also include calls made by some of the victims, which Eyewitness News has decided not to air. But we did listen to all of the calls, and we can tell you the victims in those recordings acted heroically, alerting first responders of their own injuries as well as those of the people around them. Live in the studio, Julianne Pixoto, Eyewitness News.